okay guys uh good afternoon and welcome to this video uh, today we're gonna create a nfs server and make sure that our our kubernetes clusters nodes are able to mount to that nfs server so the first thing we're gonna do is to open our terminal and ssh to the nfs server and the nfs server as you can see is right there i'm just gonna uh, copy the ssh then go to the terminal and i'm gonna call this one the first one i'm gonna rename it nfs so i'm gonna log in I am inside my NFS server, so now I'm going to run some commands, and those commands can be seen over here. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to put it side by side. Let me put it side by side. So, I'm going to copy this and paste it. Basically, this command going to install uh, the NFS utilities into our server and now we're going to start the nfs server nfs sorry uh we just enable it so we can start it just let's just run the status command to make sure that it's running fine and we can see that it's running and is enabled so now, since we want to connect it to Kubernetes, we're going to create a path that we're going to follow. And to do that, we're going to create some kind of directory, right, with uh, subdirectories. So we're going to copy this, and us, we're going to do slash SRV slash NFS slash cube data. That's how we're going to call it. And we're going to create it is created now we're going to change the directory owner to nfs nobody since we are using a santos 7 so i'm going to change it now we're going to vim into the export and the export is going to be into the slash etc slash exports and inside we're going to insert we're going to copy this and insert it three times. I'm going to tell you what we're going to modify later. So now I'm going to come back over here. And I'm going to go to my Kubernetes cluster. So I'm going to see my Kubernetes IP addresses. I'm going to copy them. And I'm going to change each of them. I'm going to remove the star because the star is like white card. But I only want to allow these IP addresses, these three IP addresses to mount to my NFS. So those are the three I'm going to change. As you can see. So I think everything is good. We have three, my Kubernetes cluster has three three nodes so those are three node ip addresses so we're going to save it now we're going to run some command right we're going to make sure that everything is is working properly and everything is good so let's export it and all of them are exported if you want to have more details, you can just put iPhone V for verbals and you can have more detail. So now, uh, now that we finished with installing our, our our NFS tools and servers and all that, and we prep our exports, we need to to work on firewall rules, right? Um, and for that we're gonna open we're gonna open so we're only gonna add some services like nfs mount or rpc iphone bind 
So I'm going to copy and paste them. Then we're going to reload it. Then let's just make sure, let's see the list of services that are available on services. You're going to see that we have Mount D, NFS, RPC, bind, iPhone bind. That's good. That means everything we want is fine. So now, let's go back to our Kubernetes cluster and let's connect all our nodes. I already opened, I already opened some tab. You're going to see node 1, node 2, node 3. I'm just going to go and copy the SSH for the first node. Paste it wire. Accept the fingerprint. Add my password. I am in. I'm going to do the same thing for the second one. I'm in and I'm going to do the same thing for the third one. Okay, I'm in. So now, on the client, I'm just going to try, to, I'm going to mount it, right? But to mount it, I need to know the NFS IP address. So this is the NFS IP address. So let's check it and let's go, let's pass the command. On the first node, we're going to do mount. Since I'm the root, I don't need to put the sudo. Iphone T. NFS iPhone O we're gonna sync it and we're gonna take the node the NFS IP address we're gonna paste it then we're gonna put the path right our path was SRV slash uh I think it was NFS slash cube data right uh, let's say we mount it to a directory to the slash mnt directory let's see if it's gonna mount it looks like everything is working fine but to check it we're gonna do show mount show sorry mind iphone e and we're gonna paste the ip address so everything was able to uh, it was able to mount so everything is working fine our kubernetes cluster i'm pretty sure those two are going to be able to do that you can try it on those as well but i'm pretty sure everything going to be fine so i don't i can just copy this control c and paste it try it and paste it away try it then i can just I can just uh, copy this one, do the same thing. Everything is good. So I'm going to unmount the slash empty and then. So to unmount it, I'm going to do U mount, U mount slash MNT. And I'm going to do it on all the nodes, Kubernetes node only. So now that we know that uh, our NFS is able to mount, let's let's try to open a, a Visual Studio, a Visual Studio Code, Visual Studio Code. Let's just change the. Let's take a part and let's see if we deploy a part into our Kubernetes clusters. Let's make sure that we are able, after deploying, we are able to mount, our pod is able to mount to our NFS server. So to do that, we're going to use a pod 
and we're going to name it nginx and uh, we, we just have to put it in a default namespace we don't need it to restart as a policy and let's call our volume uh, nfs iphone vol and let's give the path to the nfs server right and then let's create our first container we're going to name it nginx and we're going to use the nginx image and we're going to we're going to mount our volume and since the our volume is name is name nfs iphone vol we're going to use the same name nfs iphone vol wire and the path into our pod going to be yannick so, so the goal is to see if our pod can mount to our nfs through kubernetes cluster so what we're going to do is that we're going to use this uh, uh, pod definition and uh, we're going to apply it to our Kubernetes cluster. We're going to do kubectl apply iPhone F and we're going to apply everything in that directory. It says created. Uh, let's come back over here. And I'm using K9S. So I'm going to go to my K9S. I'm going to see that I have a pod just start running like 30 seconds ago and if we describe it you're gonna see that it was able to mount but let's go down we see that we don't have an issue with the mount but to make sure that everything is working properly what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna go into the port i'm gonna ssh i'm gonna exec into the port and i'm gonna look for yannick I'm going to see the, the, the into the directory called Yannick and I'm going to put something. I'm going to put, I'm going to do Tosh. My first file. And since I created from the pod, let's see if it's, if it's going to create it uh, into the, our NFS server, right? We said that our path our path is let's cd to our path we're going to do cd slash i think it's rvs slash nfs slash cube data let's do ls uh, uh, we have a file called my first file that we just created so we are able to mount our pod to our nfs server if the pod restart we're going to have the data that going to persist. That is how we set up the NFS server for our Kubernetes cluster. And thank you for watching this video. See you next time.